One of the eggs is cracked. Found it. So now I have no access to any money. Holy crap, that looks like a completely different piece of furniture. I didn't know primer was white. Is it always white? I mean, you can get it in different colors, but typically it's white. Wow. It's just a main space to it, Yeah. Wow, it looks literally, I didn't, I, I don't know what I came out here expecting, but it wasn't that. Like, it, that looks like a completely different piece of furniture. And those are all the doors. Yeah. Wow, this is gonna be good. And so, so this has to dry and then yeah, be sanded, sand and, and then it gets painted. Well, from here, what I'm gonna do is fix all these fuck ups in the corner, just like oh. fix those, and then sand it smooth, and then I can get painted. Got it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another day. Today is Sunday, and um, we've had kind of a chill Sunday, to be honest. I just feel like. The world is in such a shit. It's just shit. Everything's just shit right now. Like, there was a mass shooting in Tampa, which is like an hour away from like Orlando where I live. Um, a mass shooting at like a really popular like bar club area. One of my fr well, like, one of my closest friends works there and she said it was horrifying and she there was blood so much blood like it's just it's hard to believe that everything that we're seeing in our lifetime like we are seeing so much and going through so much and dealing with so much it's like just crazy and Chandler Bing passed away yesterday well Matthew Perry but Chandler Bing you guys know how much of a big Friends fan I am, so I was just, me and Tyler both were like, wow. It was just like, jeez, like, there's just a lot of death happening, a lot of evil, a lot of sadness. It's just, it's really exhausting, like, all of it. Like, it's so tiring for us to just constantly be hit with. It's, God, it's so exhausting yesterday i just hung out at home i did my nails like this like christmas tree green color i'll leave it linked down below if i can find it on amazon or something but i did that yesterday and literally just laid on the couch and watched gossip girl all day and then i watched friends all night and that's what i do all the time anyway this morning we went for a walk we went to have lunch we went to texas roadhouse which is so random we never go there i don't think i've gone there since I was like in high school like Texas Roadhouse is like But the food was really good and then we came home and then as you guys just saw Tyler finish the well He primed the buffet table. I'm kind of having like the itch to To I don't know like get like serotonin boosts or something I feel like a good boost of serotonin is needed I um there's a letters to santa mailbox that i really want to get at michael's and it's right next to home goods so i'm like should i just go and browse um there isn't really much like i told you guys in like a couple of my vlogs there isn't really much that i'm looking for as far as christmas decor is concerned the only two things left is my like i want to find a cookie jar and i really want a letters to santa mailbox and I want a very specific looking one, so. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I need the boost of happiness or something. So I'm contemplating that. I'm like ready to take all of my Halloween decor down. It's literally only been 20, 29 days. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm ready to take it down. I'm over it. I need some joy. 
or something. I've enjoyed having it up, but I'm, I'm over it for sure. I'm just ready for Christmas. I'm ready for the feeling of happiness and I hope the humanity can catch a break because this is the mailbox that I wanted. Well, the one that I wanted originally was from Target, but they didn't come out with it again this year. They did a green one instead. I don't want a green one. I want like a brassy colored one. So they have this one at Michael's. I wonder if I can use this in store. We'll see. It's $29.99 regularly and it's $17.99 right now. I'm literally about to order it and see if I can get it um, and just pick it up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then pop into Home Goods for just like some happiness. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanna like look and see what they have. Like I said, I'm not really looking for anything. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm already dressed. I just have my robe on because my AC blasts really, really cold in my living room because the thing is right there and then we have a fan. So yeah, let, let's go, let's go. I feel, we, I feel like we all need a little bit of happiness, <laughs> right? A lot of happiness actually so we should be done actually with the buffet table tomorrow we're gonna paint it tomorrow tyler said he's he's off tomorrow so he's like we can do we can get that done tomorrow pick up the paint and all that stuff and then i know later on i think we need to go to Publix and get just like a couple things for the house i think we need like toilet paper which maybe i'll do that while i'm out so that tyler doesn't have to come as well but yeah this is what i'm wearing today very very chill my linen pants from target that i have worn probably a hundred times this summer and this is my crop or my um black strapless but i have it cropped just for a different type of look and then my jewelry i have my hoops on from anna luisa my little these little dangly ones are from amazon i love them um my necklace is from amazon and oh my ring actually matches Perfectly with my nails. I didn't even notice that. I did not do that on purpose. I don't know if it's gonna be busy. It probably will be, but whatever. We have made it. There's a Home Goods, and then right next door is a Michael. So I think I'm gonna go into Home Goods first, just because I'm not looking for anything there. And then after that, we'll go into Michael's because I know what I'm getting in there, if that makes sense. I'm literally only going in for one thing. So I'm gonna put on some happy music because we. I'm gonna put on some Kazam because he's my favorite. And let's go inside. These are so cute. These are cute. Found it. I am back home. Let me show you guys very quickly what I got. It was so hectic in home goods. I don't know, I truly no idea why I thought it was smart to go on a Sunday. No idea. That was the dumbest thing I could have done because I usually like to go on like weekdays, like middle of the day and weekday. I don't know what in the world possess me to be like yeah sunday great idea sunday midday at that let me close my closet it's just distracting okay. so i didn't get a lot at all but i don't even know if i recorded a lot i have to look back at the footage 
Okay. I I don't know. I couldn't leave this. Couldn't leave it. This is it says it's made in the Philippines. Over 7,000 islands make up this beautiful and breathtaking country. Now you can enjoy a small piece of that beauty in your home. That's really cute. This was $19.99 compared at $27. Um, and it is like a sparkly wood reindeer. And I want to put this in my fireplace mantle. Like kind of sticking out because it's wood. So it kind of like, you know, it kind of ties in like the wood element in there. Um, because it's not a real burning fireplace. Um, I just thought this would be perfect. So this was $19.99. Then the rest of what I picked up was like ceramics. I got this because I needed a new um, wine stopper. I have one for Thanksgiving. I actually have one of friends, RIP Chandler. I have one of friends of the turkey, um, the Thanksgiving turkey. I have that and I used to have a wine stopper from CB2, but it was like a knit Santa Claus hat and it just wore really badly because it's not durable. Whereas my Thanksgiving turkey one was um, it's metal like this one. So I got this one of reindeer antlers and I just know this is gonna last way longer, way better. This was $3.99. Um, it's from a brand called Thirsty Stone, originally $25. That is insane. So that's what that one looks like. This will just be really, really pretty if I have like people over or you know anything like that, I can use that as my wine stopper. And then I grabbed these because I actually bought a plate, like a little dish plate of this set last year. And it is one of my favorite things. Like the design is just so beautiful. So I got a bowl. You guys know I love bowls. Look at how beautiful this is. And I have the plate of this and I eat like my croissants or like my toast and things like that on there. So how cute would this be for like oatmeal? I just love it. This was made in Portugal. Um, originally $8 and I got it for $4.99 and yeah, I just, this design is just so beautiful and I got it last year. So I just thought it'd be super cute to get more pieces of it this year. And with that, I got the mug. So this is going to be like a little set, like my coffee, my oatmeal, my toast. So cute. And the mug was $5.99. So I ended up spending, I think $30. $32 in home goods. But really happy with all of this. They still didn't have like too much that was like blowing me away. Um, so I just didn't get anything that like I didn't absolutely love. And the last thing that I picked up, which you guys saw in the video, the letters from Santa or letters to Santa mailbox. So I originally wanted one that they released last year it was the threshold or the magnolia i don't i can't remember which one it was um but they came out with one that was like a dark 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 brass it wasn't this gold although this is a really pretty gold it was more of like a cop like really 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 dark tarnished coppery brown looking i loved it i every single time i went to target i'd be like oh my god do i need it because i think it was like 40 or 50 dollars Every time I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, I want it so bad, but like, I don't even have kids, so what's the point? Like, I don't need it. This year, I'm like, okay, if they bring it back, I'm getting it because it just made me so happy. I just thought it was the cutest, most charming little thing. I don't care if I have kids, like, I can make it magical for myself. And they came out with it again, but in green. And I was like, I don't want it in green. I want the dark, it was like a dark, dark, dark brown, almost like a, think of like a dark eyeshadow, like a brown eyeshadow that has like shimmer in it. It was so beautiful so i had looked and i was like i'm not gonna get it and then i was looking to see if maybe they like somebody was reselling it and when i looked up letters to santa mailbox this one came up from michael's but it hadn't been available yet it said that it was like coming soon um so i checked again today and it was available so i went to the store which was right next door and they had it and i love it so no i don't have children but i also don't care and this one was also 19 dollars originally 29.99 yeah $29.99 and I ended up getting it for $19.99. So that was definitely a steal. So those are the few things that I picked up today. I, like I told you guys in other vlogs, I'm not like buying things just for the sake of like filling up the space. I really, really, really want to be, 
I really want to be intentional and I want to have things that I'm going to love every single year. So I'm just very specific about things that I'm getting. And the only thing that I'm missing is our food ornament, which that's like our tradition. We get a new food ornament every year, um, but we'll look for that another time. And then um, the cookie jar. And I think I might get my cookie jar from Pottery Barn because everything I'm seeing is just not doing it for me. Like nothing is to the point that I'm like, oh my God, this is the one. And like I said, I'm not going to buy one just for the sake of buying one. I might look on like Pottery Barn, West Elm, um, Crate and Barrel, see what they have. But other than that, that is, that is it for me. That's what I got. Oh my God, you guys, this. I think this is gonna be like my go-to scent for the fall and winter and whatever else I want. So we're gonna go to the store in, <coughs> um, in a little bit. I need to do like a, a fridge dump to see what we need. I know we need like eggs. I need granola. I need strawberries. Well guys, we just got back from the store and I was going to bring you with us. Like I was gonna vlog it, but instead I got a text message of a fraud, a fraud, like the fraud department of Chase telling me to verify if I tried to make a $640 purchase. So when I didn't, when I said no, uh, they said they were gonna send me a new card and I had to call, so that was what I did whilst in the store. So, now I'll give you a haul. We got food for Lenny. I just saw a cat, I don't know if it's bear. Um, I'm about to get my period, so it's perfect time Whoa, for milk and cookie. For Lenny, no. No way. Because this is not one of the colors they can see. Is and it? I, yeah, blue. Remember that show, the dog show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, seen, I've seen a thing on uh, YouTube as well where people were like, Let, apparently there's a hack where you could take that blue painter's tape and put it on the ground and your dog would be like too afraid to walk over it. So really? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We buy um, wipes because Lenny and Labs in general, they are... Um, prone to ear infections because like they like their ears are floppy so they get water trapped in there so Tyler will clean his ears with wet wipes and he just ran and it, mind you it doesn't hurt him at all I don't know why he runs away he just, uh, he just gets it feels so good to him and then Tyler gives him a snack every time and he like runs for joy watch he makes this funny noise you're okay There you go. Good boy. Like he likes it. <laughs> and then he runs straight to his little snack. You ready for a snack, Lenny? Come on. Wow. Like he gets so happy. Shit. You know what else we. Damn it! Whatever. We'll, we'll make do. <laughs> we'll make do. We were out of washer pods. Just finished, that's why there was one load of laundry left and dishwasher one. So I guess I'm doing dishes by hand for the next <laughs> couple days. Got a pack of large brown eggs. Tyler goes, do you wanna grab a bottle of wine? I'm like, yes I do. Yes I do. Um, I don't know if I showed these already. Our Wienek, Wingettes. They're the Greenwise Organic Chicken Wings. They're tiny, we love these. We eat these like once a week, once every other week. We love them. Shit tickets. Um, we got a couple veggies, so grab some aguacate. Three of these here, which I haven't had avocado in a, what feels like forever. We got two tomatoes. Boom. I grabbed two Caesar salad kits because you guys know we love a Caesar salad. I want to make, at some point this year, um, maybe like if I make like a soup one day, I'm going to do, um, I want to do a Caesar salad from scratch with homemade croutons. I really want to do that. And I grabbed a white onion. We got a gallon of milk. We got cat food which isn't very exciting, so no point in showing. And Tyler has had 
probably five of these pumpkin pies since the beginning of October. This is the um, Publix Bakery pumpkin pie. He clearly loves this thing because he will eat this in like two days. Loves it. So yeah, they froze my card. So now I have no access to any money. So I basically can't go anywhere. And I have, an, like I have two bank accounts so I could send money from one account to the other but they froze my account completely. So like if I try to click on my um, account, it says that I'm locked out. So we won't be leaving the house until I get my new card. So we're about to be doing a, whole, a lot of at-home vlogs. <laughs> like a lot. Although there's like nothing I really need to spend money on, like at all. So maybe that's a good thing. I can just stay my ass at home and find things to do for myself. I will be this week switching out my spooky decor for November, like fall decor. So I have like pumpkins, I have um, just like little things like that that I'll be doing. So we put a pause on um, HelloFresh again. Usually I will do that whenever I feel like I'm bored of like somebody telling me what I'm eating, even though I'm the one that picks the meal. I just miss like my own cooking. Although like we only do HelloFresh usually three nights a week. But um, yeah, usually like when I miss like my own meals, like making something that like I'm choosing to make, I will put a pause on it. So I did that. We have one uh, delivery coming this week. And then after that, I had it paused. And I'll probably pause it for a while because yeah, I just, one of the eggs is cracked. So yeah, I just miss like making my own meals and cooking like Spanish food and stuff like that. So why is this bending like that? I've got to plan my meals that I'm going to make. Put one of these in that bathroom, one of these in our bathroom. And starting November, I'm going to make a soup probably like once a week and I'm very excited about it. So anyways, I'm going to pour myself a little glass of wine um, and wind down. I think I'm going to do these today, which these were there still, if you're looking for them. I did also find very, 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 pretty much identical ones on Amazon if you can't find them. Um, I'll leave them linked down below if you can't find them in your home goods. Um, I think I saw like two boxes there, but I do know that every single home goods is different. So sometimes it's kind of hard if somebody like says they found something at home goods, it's kind of hard to find that same thing. Where is my turkey wine stopper? I'm trying to find my, my friend's wine stopper for Trinan Lerbong. Garbage. Why would it be there? No, it's been in here for like ever, but now I can't find it. Definitely just need to find it. I don't know where it is. Though. Huh? This wine is Campo Viejo Rioja. This is a Tempranillo from uh, Chile, I think. No. España, Spain. I don't know why I thought this was from Chile. Really good wine, really good, under like $15. Very, very, very good, if you like a dry red wine. Like I get this one for my mom a lot and she really likes it. All right, beautiful little glass. Oh my God, these are so beautiful. I thought you might have seen her. No, I'm gonna drag this I think right now I want to plan what I'm gonna make for the week, just so I have an idea. I found this chili that I cannot wait to make. Um, and I'll probably meal prep that for like lunches because Tyler doesn't like sweet potato and it has sweet potato in it, he's tripping. It's a sweet potato turkey chili. How delicious does that look? Like this would be so good with like a piece of toast or something on the side, yum. I'm cooking dinner while there is madness happening in my house. I am making white rice. Well, jasmine rice, same shit, white rice. Um, chicken. I'm trying to figure out if, like, what kind of chicken I want to do. I have the chicken from HelloFresh. 
And what I'm going to do, because we're just, neither of us are feeling the meals. And it's not because we picked incorrect meals. Like the meals are good. It's just, we're, that's not what we want. So there's burrito style Tex-Mex tacos. So in here, huh? Turkey. You act like you don't eat turkey. I know, but it's just. That's just not what you want. Yeah. Right. We have a tomato sauce in here. We also have a red onion. We've got sour cream. We've got pico, rice, and tortillas. And I'm gonna save these tortillas and we're gonna eat them for a different day because why not? So I think I'm actually going to use all these flavors and all these seasonings for the chicken that I'm gonna make because why not? It's literally, what is this? A Mexican spice blend. There's tomato sauce, chicken broth, garlic powder. All that's delicious. And then I have a red onion and I also have a white onion. And I have some avocado here. So this just all sounds like a good time. So that's what I'm gonna make for that. And there's also some pico de gallo here. This is like, why is there sodium benzoate in this? And beet powder. Like that's so dumb. Okay, we'll toss it. And then in my other meal, this is street cart style chicken bowls, which these are also really, really good. It's just, we got green onions. We got a tomato that is like very kind of green. So yeah, we've got a lemon. We got more chicken broth, pitas, which I am actually going to save these because I love pita. We've got cholula, chicken broth, shawarma, turmeric, sour cream. Like, I will definitely use all of this stuff. Tomorrow, I'm trying to use everything that we have because we have a full fridge and freezer. Like, we have plenty of food. Salmon bowls with rice, salmon, avocado, like an Asian style salmon bowl. Um, Tuesday, tacos. Wednesday, the chicken wings with potatoes and a Caesar salad because we bought Caesar salad packs. Thursday, um, we have a HelloFresh box coming, so I'm gonna use that meal. It's like a spaghetti bolognese with chicken sausage, which is gonna be delicious, so I'm gonna make that. And then Friday, I'm gonna make crunch wraps. We haven't had crunch wraps in a really long time, and I used to make them like once a week, and that's like such a good, solid, just yummy meal. And then I literally think for my lunches, I'm just going to eat like whatever's left over with my chicken rings because I bought a whole new bag and they're actually on sale right now at my location. Okay, so let me show you guys where the food's at. Here is the chicken and this has chicken broth, chicken stock concentrate, tomato sauce, and then chicken and then the rice. It's pretty much already done. Um, so now I am gonna make like a tomato onion salad i don't know tomato has been my favorite whether you want to call it fruit or vegetable since i was literally a child my mom always says it we used to have a uh cherry tomato vine in our house in new york and she's like you were like two three years old and you would just grab them before they were even ready and you would shove them in your mouth like a chipmunk and you wouldn't let them go and it's crazy because even now I don't need salt, I don't need lemon. I could eat tomatoes every single day for the rest of my life and be happy. So I'm literally just chopping a couple of tomatoes and I'm gonna chop some onion and I'm just gonna put that in a little bowl with some olive oil some lemon juice, and that's it. Yummy, easy, fresh. And I'm gonna eat that on the side of my dinner. Cause I'm not like starving, but we only ate once today. Okay, just gonna show you my dinner real quick. I have a little bit of rice, the chicken, all of this is a little salad. I put some Greek yogurt and a little bit of hot sauce.
it's the end of the night. It's like 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I just washed my face and lathered it in skincare. I feel like I look so pale. Um, I'm about to change and put on pajamas and maybe start pulling the footage from this vlog. Oliver thinks he's the king of the bed. I just opened up my milk and cookies, which is my top like two favorite Ben and Jerry's ice creams. It has, I'm gonna tell you guys, so that if the next time that you go to the store, vanilla ice cream with a chocolate cookie swirl, chocolate chip and chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. It's so good and I'm the type of person that if I'm eating an ice cream with a lot of chocolate, I don't like like heavy, 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 decadent, rich chocolate. I like vanilla ice cream with chunks of chocolate thing. So like chunk of cookie, chunk of brownie, chocolate chips, Oreo, like that type of vibe. So like this ice cream you can see, it's vanilla. Like it's primarily vanilla and then it just has like swirls of chocolatey cookie goodness and it is the texture is so good it is the best I'm going to bust out my laptop and just start pulling the footage and um i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>